Form is ready, and it's post time. The early pick four. And they're off. Kentucky Joker was quick in the stride to take the lead with Perform moving to him. Sent through with the rail. Madge is on the go. One fast dreams not far away. So as they scrum out of the chute, it's now Madge who takes the lead in front three parts of a length. Perform is there second. From between horses, one fast dream is now third from Foxburg fourth. Urban Resolve improves to take fifth ahead of Summon Your Courage. Then Kentucky Joker, and the trailer is Dark Vector. They make their way down the back stretch and go to the opening quarter mark with the advantage badge by length and a quarter. Perform is their second. Two back to one fast, Dream third. Urban Resolve racing by itself in fourth. Four more to Summon Your Courage. Foxburg's not firing. He's being outkicked at this stage. Outside of him and Dark Vector. And Kentucky Joker with a ton of work to do through a 22 and three opening quarter. Perform within a neck of Madge on the top end. Two and a half to Bourbon Resolve with every opportunity. Summon your courage. Begins to stoke the boilers fourth and only five lengths behind. 45 and four for the opening half mile. At 11 to one, Edgar Perez and Madge trying to turn him away. Off the turn with a three length lead. Perform is second down the center. Summon your courage with just an eighth of a mile to go. Madge is responding here. Madge now by five. Bourbon Resolve from between. Down the center, summon your courage. Perform is back forth, but a very nice run here from the son of good magic. It's Madge in front. Second, Bourbon Resolve. Third, summon your courage. Fourth was Perform. And then one fast dream for the high five in 122 and two. They're off in the Fountain of Youth stakes. Forte was away cleanly enough, but Cyclone Mischief was first to begin, and he's ridden for the early lead. Up on the outside, Dangerous Ride has the same idea, so the outside two horses cross over and lead the way. Legacy Isle, meanwhile, angles off the inside, and Forte slides through at his inside. Rocket 10 is next, and Mage is wide on the course. Il Baracolo is headstrong while third last. Second last, Blazing Sevens. The early trailer is Shadow Dragon. They make their way pie in opening quarter, 24 seconds flat. Cyclone Mischief has the lead and he has the rail. He leads by a length over long shot. Racing second is Dangerous Ride. Out deep on the course in Mage. Three wide rocket tan. Perfectly spotted early is Forte. The Breeders' Cup champion is only three lengths off the lead with Legacy Isle on his outside. These top flight horses have gone five ahead of Shadow Dragon, then Blazing Sevens in El Maricolo. Half a mile to go. They go to the first finish line in the 2023 Fountain of Youth Stakes. They went 47 and 3 for a half mile. Cyclone Mischief. He's been in front from the outset and he still has the lead. Rocket 10 starts to make a bid. Second, three wide. Mage is third. Iran Ortiz Jr. has strong hold of Forte. He looks ready to roll. Just needs some open racetrack. Dangerous Ride calls it an afternoon. Then Legacy Isle as they run to the top of the stretch. Iran decides to swing out and Forte is on the go now. Cyclone Mischief fights to hold it. From between horses, it's Rocket Can. Mage is three wide, but a big presence four wide in the form of Forte. Four across the course as they straighten for home. Out in the center, Forte tries to overhaul Cyclone Mischief, who's very game, but Forte's very good. As a three-year-old, he debuts with an easy victory in the Fountain of Youth Stakes. Here's your two-year-old champion. Here's Forte geared down. Rocket Can second, Cyclone Mischief third. Mage ran well, he was fourth. Shadow Dragon to complete your high five in 143 flat. He's back. Forte tosses his head around, settles in. And they're off in the Curlin Florida Derby. It was an excellent beginning for Forte. He'll be able to duck over some from his outside draw. Meanwhile, West Coast Cowboy firing through at the inside to take the early lead. Fort Bragg got over quickly, and he's on to take over now. Fort Bragg from the 10 post to the rail and on top of length and a half. Mr. Peaks is now second with West Coast Cowboy in third. Young Frau between horses, Mr. Ripple is next. Cyclone Mischief is stacked four wide, five wide, WNL. And that's a length and a half to Il Maricolo, Irad Ortiz Jr. and Forte. They're toward the back of the field while three wide. Shaq Diesel is next, then Nautical Star. And Mage is last of all as they complete the opening quarter in 23 and two. Down the back stretch they go. Jockey Joel Rosario and Fort Bragg on top by two and a half. 
Mr. Peaks is second, Mr. Ripple is third. West Coast Cowboy is down toward the inside, working out in the center is Cyclone Mischief. And it's Young Frau, Forte, so he's get a bit closer now. He's about six lengths off to speed through a 46 and three half mile. Strong fractions being put up by Fort Bragg. He heads into the far turn on top by two. Mr. Peaks is second, Mr. Ripple is third. Up on the outside, it's Forte. He's starting to get to work now. He's about eight lengths off this loose leader with five sixteenths remaining. Fort Bragg tries to sneak away. He has a lead by two and a half. Mr. Ripple, he's now second. Cyclone Mischief moves up on the outside third. Forte's locked in as Mage begins to roll from the back. They race past the quarter mile pole in the Florida Derby, and Mage got to jump on Forte as he goes to get Fort Bragg. Cyclone Mischief is fighting hard. He's still right there. Less than a quarter of a mile to come, and Cyclone Mischief, he's up for a fight, tries to turn away Mage. Forte better hurry up. Final 16th of a mile. Forte starts to gather in the top horses. Here comes Forte. This is going to be very close, but the champion prevails. Forte wins over Madge, and Mage was second. Third Cyclone Mischief, then Mr. Ripple, Fort Bragg for the high five. He gave you a scare, but